Hey guys, it's 6 one Shadow. Welcome to another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle on JP here today. We're going to be taking on the new Dokkan event that dropped today. The, um, the future Gohan physical card, which uh, his banner dropped. I'm, I might do summons on this at some point. I just have to get some more stones for that. But, um, we do have this new, uh, we do have this new event here. So we're going to be taking it on. I haven't seen any videos on it, so we're just going to go in and, you know, hope for the best. We're going to go in with our uh, Potara team, because that, that's our best team. And because he's physical, I'll bring this one that has crit over here. So, you know, pretty standard team, standard items. So we're just going to go right in for uh, for this event. Now, let me know what you guys think of the uh, future Gohan. I definitely really like the uh, category. It kind of sucks, though, that the LR androids aren't in it, especially for when it comes to global, because I do have them 100% on global. So that kind of sucks, but the category itself is actually pretty cool doing all the uh, sort of fu future characters. So we can have a category that's not uh, Potara, that we can have uh, Vegeta, Vegeta Blue and uh, Rose Goku Black together, which is actually pretty cool. So I'll definitely enjoy the category, especially when it comes to global, because I definitely think I have a good amount of the cards for that category over there. All right, so this rotation, we don't, we don't start off with our rotations uh, that great, but uh, it's definitely manageable. We're going to keep the friend on rotation here. As we uh, we're gonna su do get an ultra super with him, and then we are going to. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get these with that Vegito, so we can get our ultra super here as well. We just got straight rainbow orbs. That's that's not that's uh, pretty solid. It's pretty solid. So we're gonna. Uh, hopefully, this is, I wonder how hard this event's gonna uh, turn out to be. Cause I know we've had some pretty tough Dokkan events recently with uh, Master Bui, uh Goku and Jiren, and that we just completely just destroyed that part. And now we're going on to. Uh, the tech one, yeah, this is the tech one. <laughs> so, let's, uh, actually, I think this is fine. We'll have, uh, have Kefla go right there, and then we'll have, uh, Rose can get those, and then, let's see, is there any rainbows up there? No, there aren't any rainbows up there. So I'm gonna keep those orbs around for the next rotation. If we, if we, if we, uh, even need the next rotation, which I think we will. It's a pretty cool OSC right now, I'm gonna make this a little louder. Yeah, I actually, I actually like this OST. I feel like it's going to get even better, because we're only on the second stage right now. So we got Rosé coming in. Rosé will do a good amount. I, I would really love a dupe of Rosé. Um, I actually haven't looked at the at the banner at all. I should probably do that. If Rosé's on, if Rose is on the banner, then I have even more incentive to uh, to summon. Or, uh, oh, I know Tech Vegito Blue is on there, which that gives me incentive enough, because uh, that would make this team... That, that, that would be uh, an interesting uh, add-on for this team as well. Alright, so here we're gonna get an Ultra Super, and then everyone everyone's gonna get a Super Attack here. But we shouldn't need any of them beyond the uh, beyond the uh, LR Vegito over here. So we're gonna get to that. Okay, yep. And now we are on. Alright, we're on Fizz now. Yeah, we're, we're on to the Fizz Gohan now. So we have the. Uh, I think this is the SSR form, and that we're probably gonna face the. Uh, Probably gonna face the UR form afterwards. So let's have uh, have him get those. We're, we're not gonna get an Ultra Super with uh, with mine, which is perfectly fine. Mine can't crit anyway, so it's not really it's not like mine's gonna do a ton of damage. <clears throat> so we don't we don't actually do that much damage, but we have Rose with uh, with mine. So each each rotation we have the opportunity to do a bunch of damage. Like Rose is gonna do a good amount right there, yeah. And I believe and Kefla probably will too. Because Kefla can super attack uh, multiple different times, so that's really gonna help out in the long run. So we'll have Kefla do that there. It, I mean it'll help if she gets super attacked each time, which is not always the case. But it also help when she dodges, because Kefla is just a really great unit. Like without a doubt. Alright, now now this is a Masu here is actually gonna come in clutch. I didn't hold him for that long, so you didn't see what I was talking about. But th this is a Masu, the uh, strength one is actually gonna come in pretty clutch because uh, I'm actually gonna switch these two. But um, see, he's gonna come in pretty clutch because of his uh, because of his typing, because he'll he'll be able to tank slightly better in this stage. So that'll also be really good for us. And I'm gonna I, I need to get these uh, purples together here because I'm not getting ultra super attacks, and that is not good. But Vegito can do a bunch in this uh, in this rotation as well, which can be really helpful. 
And ideally, I would like to finish this in, in uh, this rotation, but that, that mu that's probably not going to happen unless they crit. If they crit, that would actually be ideal. Because, you know, they're not going to crit, unfortunately. But it would have been ideal because we would have started off next rotation with the Rose. But we'll start off next rotation with, uh, the, with, uh, it'll be, um, my LR Vegito along with, um, oh, what's we'll, we'll in there? My LR Vegito, Vegito Blue, and Kefla, I think. Yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll be Kefla with, uh, that rotation. So, uh, they'll get an Ultra Super. Not like it, uh, matters really that much because Rose will, uh, will finish them off and we'll finish him off and then we'll get to, uh, They'll be able to get to the uh, TUR stage, which we'll be able to see how hard it is. And we got uh, got future Gohan here. All right, so it looks like he's not immune to anything, which is a little interesting for, uh, especially for Dokkan events nowadays. He didn't have any uh, immunities, so we'll see how this event is. We're gonna have. Uh, I'm actually gonna do this and let him get all of those. Uh, no Ultra Super there, which is uh, a little unfortunate, but... <laughs> then we'll go, uh... <laughs> then we'll Kefla get those. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're still gonna tank, because, uh... Because LR Vegeta is arguably the best card in the game. And that did absolutely nothing, because there was no crit there. I did, the one thing I did hear about this event, though, is that this stage... His deep, oh, he has high defense there. Yeah, that that, that might be a little bit of an issue. But I heard, I, I heard he, he he raises his defense every turn in this event, so that's def that can definitely be very challenging for us, especially since a good amount of my uh, characters don't really have dupes, so we can't really um, can't really deal with that. So the only characters that would probably really be doing damage are those who uh, those who uh, super attack, which even now Kepler's not even doing that much, and then uh, those like Rose and uh, things like that. So we'll, actually see, well, we'll actually see how we can do on this, and he does 20k to Kefla. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to... we're going to do this. Does he get any more attack links with Zamasu? No, he doesn't. Okay. So let's, uh... Let's do this, and then... Okay, then my Vegito can do this, and then... That. Okay, he's actually debuffed right here, which is pretty nice. I see him uh, I see him a little debuffed for uh, attack and defense. So let's see how much damage Rose can do. If Rose gets a crit, that'll be awesome. So let's see, he can do... Okay, he does a couple health bars, which is gonna really help us out in the long run. Ooh, and he's gonna super attack. We can see a super attack over here. Dude, that's actually that's, that's really cool. That's really cool super attack. Dokkan's really stepped up when it comes to uh, super attacks in this in this game. Like ever since uh, Ultra Instinct Goku with all the transformation cards, they've been just they've been just stepping up their game when it comes to these super attacks. So I really do like that. And Zamasu doing 100k there. That's that's pretty solid for uh, Zamasu. All right, now we got now we got the uh, now we got the Vegito rotation here. So hopefully this can do good for us. We're not, we're not gonna get a super attack with him, which is a little unfortunate. But we'll get it with uh, we'll get it with the uh, the LR, and then we'll also get we'll also get it with the uh, with the base form, which I actually do need to still farm up the base form of Vegito super attack. I need to take time and do that, as well as uh, LR Vegito. Cause I do want to start my uh, LR Vegito blue. Uh, I do want to start my LR Vegito blue as grinding, and his defense is actually less now, probably because we I think we debuffed him with uh, one of our attackers. That kind of makes sense that his uh, defense is a little lower. And the friend is not getting any RNG for me. It happens at literally, literally every other event. Oh, we do get the dodge, though. We do get the, uh, the level 5 dodge going in there, so that's pretty clutch. But no RNG that I really need is uh, coming out right now. And this Vegito takes, th this Vegito takes 31k. We actually haven't uh, gone in the threshold for the uh, fusion yet, which is a little surprising. And I don't think we will, considering that we'll probably be able to beat him in this rotation. Now, will this fall the way I want it to? Let's find out. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Oh, and Rose is getting the Dokkan mode, actually. Yeah, so we definitely won't be able to get to the uh, to the transform part. To the fusion here, because this Dokkan mode will probably be able to finish him off. Okay, 3, 2, 1, and then... See if I can get these all. Alright, cool. I didn't miss any of them. Well, once you start using the emulator for a long time for this, you, you honestly just get used to it, uh, using the uh, mouse click. 
for uh, for the Dokkan meter thing. So let's see how much damage this Dokkan attack is gonna do. Okay, 1.5 million. We take out Gohan, and that's the end of that event. That was that event. Definitely, if you're not prepared for it, if you don't have like a really busted team like Potara or um, well, if you if you're also, if you're also using the uh, cards that the uh, special cards or special link for this event, then I'm sure that, that that's gonna make it easier as well. But if you're not, if you don't have like a, su a stupid busted team or like a pretty solid, well, I shouldn't say st a stupid busted, but like a really strong team, then you might not be able to uh, get through this. I may I may try to record um, a run with my uh, sort of bootleg universe survival team because I know that team isn't like the best team ever, and um, and especially in that last phase, phase he has a pretty he has a pretty high defense at the beginning at the beginning there. So I might do I might come back maybe uh, sometime next week and do a run with that team, but. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you all next time.